bandages. As an orthopedic surgeon, we have to apply bandages at many places. A simple cuff and collar bandage, clavicle bandage, wrist bandage or ankle bandage. These are the things which will be commonly encountered everywhere. When I look at the cuff and collar, it can be used in children or a support with any other slab or splint. It allows the elbow to be maintained in a proper flexion and it counteracts the weight of the limb. Seat the patient. Elbow should be uh, in good amount of flexion in children, more than 90 degrees and about 90 degree in adults. Keep in mind that if you apply it too tight, it can cause swelling, circulation problems, skin irritations. And in adults, they can only be a support or for temporary immobilization. In children, they can be used for more spectrum. To make a cuff and collar sling, you need a tube bandage. Eight layer of padding is laid out and put in the tube bandage. After inserting it inside the tube bandage, it looks like a tube which is padded. So make out a roll, place it around the neck, make a knot around the neck, bend the elbow, make a roll around the wrist, tie at the wrist. It should not be too tight to constrict the pulse. There should be good padding around the neck. As the material will lose tension, keep adjusting it. The swelling of elbow will decide the amount of flexion you will give. When you go distally in upper limb, the wrist bandage, it is for the strains and the sprains of the wrist will stabilize and give relief to the pain. Seat him comfortably in place in a functional position. An appropriate size bandage should be used. The bandage roll will always be outside, never inside. Usually put it in pronation. You go from distal to proximal. The extremity should not be pulled in hyperpronation or supination. Each turn of the bandage needs to be fixed or followed with a straight turn. Ensure the bandage rolls, rolling facing outwards. Begin laterally the first strap, diagonally towards the base of thumb. Wrap from the anastyloid process over the hand and between the thumb and the index finger. Anastyloid that's how it goes. First bandage. The next wrap will follow the metacarpal head. Then another after the cut passes between the thumb and index finger. Wrap from lateral to the base of the thumb. If the forearm is of uniform width, wrap from distal to proximal using the half overlapping technique. So you go like this, you go like this, you keep on going like this. If the forearm is tapered or narrowed down, use the crisscross technique up to the elbow. Secure the bandage with a surgical tape and a clip without any irritation to the patient. It should not be too tight, circulation should not be restricted, free movements of finger and the elbow should be there. The clavicle. The fractures of clavicle, you have to see that you retract the shoulders. Patient usually standing with both the hands on the iliac crest by the side of the body. Take care of the circulation. Do not irritate the axilla. Do not compress too much on the brachial plexus. Beware of the swellings. Good amount of padding. Fold the padding halfway. Insert into tube bandage. Roll out the tube bandage over the padding to make a padded roll. Place the roll on the back of the patient's neck. And then, so you place it on the back of the neck and then you take it from the axilla and you tie it like here. Now, you have to make a connection between the top and the bottom band. So, you take it around this and tie them out. So, this will 
cause a retraction on both the shoulders. There should not be irritation on the skin, on the axilla. It should not be too tight to, co come to cause any problem on the pulse. Coming to lower limb, ankle and foot bandage. For the ankle injuries, instability of the sprain stabilizes it. Place the patient supine or seated with the knee on a support. Ankle should be 90 degree flexed. Good appropriate size bandage. Bandage rolls this away. Normally applied in a pronated direction, distal to proximal. Do not try to pull them too much, will cause problems. Avoid supination by wrapping the foot in pronation. Ensure that the roll of bandage faces outwards. Start laterally and wrap around the forefoot. Pass the hand diagonally over the heel and across the subtalar joint. Pass the bandage over the medium malus. Pass it over the Achilles, diagonally beneath the foot. Secure the bandage on the lateral and the middle side with a finger and pass the bandage of the middle arch. Pass it across the lateral malus and the Achilles tendon. So you keep on rotating. One, two, three, four, malus. Padding should be there. Pass it behind the foot to the lateral side. Pull the lateral side of the foot up slightly. So your aim is to be doing a little relaxation by version. Wrap the lower leg from distal to proximal. Use the half overlapping. Wrap the bandage from proximal to distal, from lateral to medial, across the medial malus. This will ensure a slight raising of the lateral margin of the foot. Pass the bandage over Achilles tendon and diagonally beneath the foot. Go over the lateral malus and the Achilles tendon will well protected. Pass beneath the foot and apply a circular wrap around the foot. Wrap the remaining bandage over the Achilles tendon and secure the surgical tape more on the dorsal on the foot. Check, it should not be tight, circulation not restricted, ankle in 90 degrees. So this is about the bandaging techniques. Thank you.